After their short message, we'll hear from the final startup, Way Around. They help tourist venues like hotels and museums become more welcoming and accessible to people with vision loss and their friends and families. Hi, I'm Jessica Hipp. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Way Around, and we're making the world more natural and welcoming for people with vision loss. About 13% of American adults can't see well even when they're wearing contacts or glasses. The Americans with Disabilities Act requires Braille on signage as one of the primary accommodations for people with vision loss. Yet, fewer than 10% of blind people can read Braille. So there's a lot of information out there in the world that people just can't access, and we're changing that. It started near the restroom. Our co-founders, Darwin Belt and Armand Fisher, were having lunch, and Armand remarked that the hardest thing for him about losing his vision was going into a public restroom. It's the only place where my wife can't go with me, he said, and you don't want to have to feel around. Darwin had an idea. Armand, he said, we're architects. We know how to communicate all the details about buildings. We can solve this. Our solution has three parts. The first part is our smart NFC tags that can make any sign scannable with a smartphone. The simple mobile interface on the mobile app works for anyone, and yes, blind people can use smartphones. The third part is our SaaS software that helps businesses provide unlimited information about their space from anywhere. Let me show you how it works if you are someone who is using a screen reader who had vision loss. Way around, way around, heading level one. Read, button. Ready, ready to scan. Roxbury room. What's here? Heading level two, list start. This is a rectangular shaped conference room with movable tables and chairs. What's nearby? Heading level two. Directions to restrooms. Heading level two. Directions to elevation changes. Heading level two. Directions to exits. Heading level two. Our users call way around a godsend and a game changer. It makes information that's never before been available to blind people easily accessible. We currently have several pilot sites and most of them are places like schools for the blind or guide dog schools where there's a large population of people with vision loss. Early next year, we're going to be expanding to museums and hotels um, to test our installation of the signage. What you saw, you could see the tag directly on the sign and we'll ultimately we'll integrate that tag into the sign so it has the look and feel that you want for your space. And then in the last half of 2022, we'll be working on our implementation for automation of onboarding for both end users and for the administrators of the system. And by the way, we are accepting applications for pilot sites if you're interested. As we've been developing this system that can be used for businesses, we also have a system using the very same technology that people can use at their homes to label all sorts of things from kitchen items to medication, clothing, and hobby items. Here's how that works. Meet Way Around. It's the smart assistant for people with vision loss that gives lots of information about everyday things. Versatile way tags make it easy to tag items around your home and office. Pair them with the powerful Way Around app for your smartphone. Just create a description and any other details that are important to you. Then tap a way tag to store them. You can store as much information as you want. Scan a way tag anytime to hear your information read back to you. Navy, short sleeve, cotton shirt. It's a simple way to get better, faster information about your anything and everything. I'd like to give a huge thank you to the New Hampshire Tech Alliance and to the Hannah Grimes Center out in Keene, where we're part of the incubator program. These two organizations have been a, a lifeline for us as we've weathered the pandemic and continued to grow our business. And although we've just been around for a few years, our history here in New Hampshire goes back about three decades when Darwin, who is also a an architect, 
he designs architectural software, and he would come up to Henniker um, when the Autodesk campus was located there, and he would come several times a year to test software and to further develop the software that um, he had on top of Autodesk. So that experience really shaped his career, and now he's using that spirit of innovation along with his personal experience having vision loss himself to change the world for people with vision loss. You can get in touch with us um, anytime. We're on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and we have a very active YouTube channel, and we'd love to hear from anyone who's interested in a partnership or working with us in any way. Thank you.